Hey friend, if you like electric Chicago blues, you are in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna dive into how to play Snatch It Back and Hold It as recorded by Junior Wells on guitar. Now this song is a blues in the key of B and I'm gonna show you two different choruses, two different variations that you can play so you can get jamming along with this amazing track right away. All right, we're gonna get straight into it here. The first chord is F sharp nine, and you hit that chord, and then you kick into the groove, which goes. It's got a real funky feel to it. Here, I'm starting out on a very common blues chord. I'm playing from the fifth string down. Nine, eight, then nine, nine, nine. So my root there is on that F sharp, and it's a dominant ninth chord. I would call that just F sharp nine. So you hit that chord, and that's just sort of held, and then you come in with the groove on the note B. Now, I want you to think about a B major chord here. And what we're gonna be doing is using notes of that chord and kind of just weaving our way through it. We're gonna start by playing the seventh fret of that low E string. So that's our root note there. Then we're gonna do a muted, just kind of dropping our hand on the strings to get kind of a backbeat percussive sound. So one, two. Then we'll do a quick hammer on from seven to nine on the A string. Then go to the D string and play seven. We're gonna do 16th notes there. So we'll go one, two, three, four, four of them. And then we'll play eighth notes. That's gonna go seven, nine. So it's, it's five sevens all together. Uh, seven, 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 nine. So if I counted out the rhythm, it would go one E and a two E and a three E and a four and. So we've got this sort of bubbly 16th note groove, like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And I'm using a little bit of palm muting there. So I'm getting a muted sound versus playing the note just open like that. So that's our figure. One E and a two E and a three E and a four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one E and we're gonna do it four times. Here's the last one. So that's the first four bars. Now before we keep going, I wanna give you an awesome gift that's really gonna help you with this song. It's my fretboard guide, and on this guide, I put together the five must-know chords and scales to map out the entire fretboard. And this is gonna help you with playing along with your favorite recordings like Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and of course, a lot of Chicago blues as well. So grab this guide, just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. That's gonna give you my framework for how I look at the guitar neck. You'll see the patterns and the shapes. Again, it's completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. All right, let's check out the next four bars here. So that first four bars that we covered covers the one chord. From there, we're gonna actually shift the riff down one string and we're gonna play. So all I did was take the riff, I was playing it on the starting on the low E string, and then I shift it down one string and start on the A string. And you see this all the time in so many blues progressions. Here we're starting on the seventh fret of the A string, then hammer on the D string, seven and nine, then G string, seven, seven, nine. Now a lot of times I hammer to my pinky, which if we were following kind of traditional fingering, we might use index to ring. You can really use either one. For me, the pinky's comfortable for me, but if you wanna use the ring finger, that's totally cool as well. So we're gonna do that twice. 
Then we'll come back to the B chord or the one chord. All right, great work making it this far. That is the first eight bars of the blues. We got four more to cover our entire 12 bar. The next four go like this. It's a little bit more movement here. We're gonna bring in what I call the five chord here, and we're gonna shift that riff up to now the ninth fret of the A string. So we're starting on that note, F sharp. Then we'll hammer from nine to 11 on the D string. Then we'll continue with the same idea. We'll play the ninth fret of the G string. Nine, 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 11. And then we'll shift down to seven and do the second riff that we learned, the riff for the four chord. So that's gonna go like this. We'll take it back home to the first riff. We'll do it once, and then we'll hit this root note and then just get off. So we end there on the downbeat. It's called a break. One, two, three, four. So just to put it together, the last four bars go like this. One, two, three, four, then you restart. Okay, so that is our entire 12 bar blues. So let's see if we can put that all together and I'm gonna lead off with that F sharp nine chord, that classic blues intro, and then I'll count us in. Here we go, get ready on F sharp nine. One, two, three, four. Great job. So that is where I would start with this tune is going through that 12 bar and playing what I just showed you. Now, there are some variations on the recording. For example, in the second chorus, there is a variation that goes like this. This is really cool because it's you can see the direct connection to the B chord there. We're gonna start on the seventh fret, the low E. We're doing basically the same rhythm. We're gonna leave off the hammer on though. We'll just go straight to that ninth fret of the A string. Then we'll go to the ninth fret of the D string and go. Then shift down, seven, nine. So it's almost like the reverse of what we did before, so. So before we were going, and now we're starting on the higher note. Just a little variation there, and you know you can start to mess with these ideas the more you get it down. So I would say start with the first way, and then as you get comfortable, you can mix it up and come up with your own variations. So next, I'm gonna apply that, basically take it through the blues. So I'm gonna do that that on the four chord and then like this on the five chord and put it all together for a variation. Here we go, I'll count us in. We'll start right on the B note. One, two, three, four. So practice those variations 
And when you're ready, try and play it along with the recording. This is a great funky blues to practice in the Chicago style. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you more of that connection of the chords and the scales so you can have basically a framework for putting this together on the neck and things are really gonna start clicking and you'll be able to jam along with your favorite recordings. So just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching and for more blues guitar, check out this video next.